my experience in this is that I came up in a subprime market. I actually started when you didn't need a license. And my company that I first worked with, in case you're not familiar with subprime, subprime is basically anyone who's like below a 680 FICO back in the day. Subprime was anything that couldn't qualify. Basically subprime is hard money now, right? Uh, there was subprime, Alte, and A paper. And A paper was of course the, the ones who could pretty much walk on water. They had the equity, had the income, they qualified. Whereas the subprime always had some issue, whether they needed a stated income, or they you know they needed cash out right away there's a lot of debt lower fico and so that was considered subprime and here's the thing is that because we were a subprime lender we sold subprime products so obviously it was adjustable rate mortgages right here's the thing is though is that the company that i started with the company that taught me how to sell arms my first arm product was a, a two-year fixed and it had a three-year prepayment penalty um, you know what i mean yeah, so that's how I learned. And so needless to say, I, I came across damn near every single objection. Every single one. And imagine a prepayment penalty, they don't have them around now, but in case you know, you're know, not too familiar, prepayment penalty was six months worth of interest on top of the payoff. And the interest on these arms back then, they're nothing like what they are now. Like the arms right now are what, like 3%? Back then when we were selling them, oddly enough, my arm rate was higher than some A paper lenders fixed rate. So in other words, back then the average fixed rate was like, let's say uh, six and a half or seven and a half. And our arm rates were like damn near eight, eight and a half. Anyway, needless to say, that company that I, that I originally started with, the name was AmeriQuest. That was the name of the company. And it was uh, one of the largest subprime lenders next to Countrywide. These two names don't ring a bell. All you need to know is that both companies were shut down by the government for predatory lending practices. And ultimately what they did was they just taught persuasion and selling to a bunch of kids who didn't need license, but they loved money. And I was one of them. And um, you know, only a few people actually really held on to the lessons because sales training is like medicine, right? Like no one really wants to take it, even though we may need it, no one really wants it. But those that do take it end up getting better much faster. And so I was one of those kids that took the fucking medicine. Anyway, um, not only did I do that, but I continued perfecting it and mastering it. Because what happened shortly after my employment with the subprime lender is I, I broke out into a wholesale to a wholesale lender, so I became a broker. And as a broker, meaning that I, I didn't work for a retail outfit, right? Like I was able to make more commission and I was able to sell any product. So I sold for multiple lenders. And the strength that I had in going on the street was powerful. Like I was used to selling points, I was used to selling arms. And so my experience in selling adjustable rate mortgages, needless to say, is there. <clears throat> it's just that when I went from selling on average of three points with a three-year prepayment penalty and having an interest rate that's higher than your average 30-year fixed rate, needless to say, it took a little bit of craftfulness. It took a little bit of coversion, right? You had to be covert AF, right? And so we were trained to sell nothing but benefit. And we sold immediate benefit. And we put it in a way where when the delivery was done, the prospect was not only eager to get it done, but their loyalty was fully committed to you.